Big enough for the most part, not an indifferent Sometimes be stuck in my ways, weekend Fucked up in somebody's kitchen Stick in my hand, I'm chillin' with the trips And my few cans do so I walk like Winston Trust me, I wake up hanging. You hang that I'm leaving this bed, you're kidding I'm sitting on back in the pad Get deep fried and I smoke some packs of the grass Put the feet up, kick back and relaxing your best No, I'm sticking on right at these guys Alright, and so Jamie, see for my headphones. Have you turned mine down yet? Are yours good, don't you? No, do you want them turned down? Aye, so listen, right, I'm going to, when I, when I stop singing is when you stop, right? right. Oh, fucking hell. I do. I do, mate. I can't really go up a wee bit. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect, mate. You're all showing off the cards in the pod, <laughs> mate. Um, so they fool me, Sati do. What's mate, the best fucking exercise? Mate, what's, the work, what's the best thing that you could sing like pure good to know? Mate, any Sinatra. I sound like Frank Sinatra when I sing. Right, I'm as good as Sinatra. At singing, what's your best Sinatra? Fly me to the moon. Give, oh, he's, he's a bit. Of it. No, <laughs> on your pod, bro. mate. Just shut your eyes, mate, kid. On you're in the gutter, Craig. Pod is wet. Two minutes. In, no, even two minutes in, mate. And you've got me. Fly singing. me to the moon and let me <laughs> see. Me, are you picturing my man? Fly me. To- <laughs> well, where are you, mate? Sinatra's, <laughs> Sinatra's waiting on his boy. Um, Pipe him up, mate. No, mate. I go for a bit, mate. I'll date Otis, I know. I've got a, I've got a very, a, an old black man. Do you know any Biff Jim Kipper? <laughs> again, you've me with the magic key, bro. Let's do it. It's a book. It's Aye, a you've children's me with that. Can before? we pull Biff Jet and Kipper up? Mate, Have we looked this? at it? I want to see them again, bro. Wait, what? I've never even the magic key, bro. <laughs> Be the magic well, key. Well, no, if you're bringing up Biff, Chip and Kipper, see directly after Biff, Chip and Kipper. <laughs> Jamie, can I please have James and the Giant Peach images up, please? You ever, what, do you remember James and the Giant Peach, bro? You think you're all of that because you got a big peach on you, mate? <laughs> <laughs> James and the James, Giant Peach? There was nothing impressive about it. James, did they not find that peach? I found it. They fucking... What did they do? Biff, Chip and Kipper, the magic key. No, speci- uh, can I specifically... Aye, there we go. Mate, buy me that. What, what that this one? It, what one? Uh, this one with the dog and that, Aye. mate. These guys, these fucking guys, know what, what an adventure what they was. Do for you? Mate, that's Jacqueline Wilson in it. That's the Jacqueline Wilson. That's like a, that's bird. Aye, aye, aye. I that's think a so. Bird wee guy book. Not me. It was in. It was mandatory. It was in primary, mate. Oh, was you, it? I didn't Aye. get a pri- Wait, did you I get didn't. I didn't go in primary one. This is game as what I fucking. <laughs> why give me something else? Did you know, bro? <laughs> Imagine no day. Imagine no day that. Boy. I don't right. like this mess. Aye, there we go. The magic key. Right, so these, these bastards go and find that. And then Mate, there's happens? just a key. It's like Lord of the Rings was based off this. Was it? They just changed <laughs> it to a ring, bro. Aye. The magic ring. They, they've got Yoda. The dog's Yoda in that. Mate, aye, it's the exact same thing. There's a full fam there. Mom, <laughs> mom, mom, mom and dad, mate. I meant Gollum, no Yoda. That's, that's like AI generated. That's... Are they still making the magic key? Mate, get James and the Giant Peach up. Get some real fucking shit up. I don't even remember, but I, I just got a memory of... I just get a mad weird memory from my childhood. James and Giant Peach was a shit, bro. Bro, what's impressive about just finding a Giant Peach? Mate, he hangs about all oh, the crickets and that. Look, look, it's not just a peach, mate. He finds a Giant Peach, maybe, and he maybe feeds it to all his insect chums, mate. But bro, there's fucking insects crawling out this peach. It's no good. Maybe he's brought them to the peach like my friend's feast. Maybe because they they're going to enjoy the peach a lot more than James. He's a given guy. <laughs> he's, a, he's a good guy. He's a carer, mate. mate. But do you know what's just happened? I just got a mad. I, I remember a theme song for a program for when I was a wee guy, and it was the the so like, the reason I remember it is because every country used to sing it to me, and that because I used to love it because it was about Jamie. It was about Jamie and his magic torch. Have you ever, do you remember Jamie and his magic talk? Is, is, is this his yeah. cousin? No, I mean, it might be. And that, well, that's, I thought of this and it reminded me, I was about to start singing James and his giant peach because the theme tune to that other thing is like, Jamie, Jamie and his magic torch. Is <laughs> it? I, yeah. That sound, I feel like the James and the giant peach song. Bro, it's su- a bit better. That suited that better there. Do you think so? Can you say that again? Jamie. No, Jamie and he's his the magic torch. That's what it's like. A British Jamie. children's television series made by Cosgrove Hall. For Thames Television on ITV, mate. See, I was just... Mate, Count Duckula, Danger Mouse. I loved all that. So, I, I've, like, been into all that. For He's the premise. I don't know. He gets It's up. fucking there, bro. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> mate, fuck those. <laughs> 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 <Find them yourself. laughs> so, premise. The programme is based... I, I like that. What's that? 
I don't know. I just liked having that. that. Mystique. While I was talking. Right, on you go. Are you read it out? Sorry, I just got a fright there. Right, so the programme is based around a young boy of the title and his torch. When the shot, when Sean on the floor, the torch opens up a hole in a fun fantasy dimension called Cuckoo Land. I can't even argue with that, mate. That sounds <laughs> solid already. <laughs> the beginning of each episode, Jamie's mother tucking him into bed at night and saying, sleep well, Jamie. Then from under his bed, his old English sheepdog's Wordsworth appears, holding a torch in his mouth. Jamie takes the torch, shines it in the floor, opening up a portal to Cuckoo Land, in which Word- Wordsworth always gets stuck, by the way, the bastard. The portal manifests itself as a helter skelter. I, mean, I was watching this. Is this a conspiracy theory? Fuck a mushy's not. Is this the tune or something? Sleep this well, is the tune. Jamie. Sleep well, Jamie. Listen. This is fucked up. Oh no, it's not! <laughs> oh, that's Bro, not. how do you know about this? Running from 70, 70, 79? Oh, I mean, I used to watch this when I was wee. I may, may have been on video on my grannies or something. How old are you, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Do- Who's that's the that Wordsworth. You get stuck on it. Words, words. Wait, Wordsworth. Clueless, I know. How yeah. many times you been to Cuckoo Land, Wordsworth? <laughs> you get stuck every fucking time, wee man. <laughs> you need to lose a bit of that fucking beef now. Yeah. Hey, is there, not, is there an episode what? where they're getting put down because he's that shit? They're like, put him out his misery. <laughs> put that boy out his misery. He's a dumb dog. You can't teach he's a, never going to learn. You can't teach paid, a dumb dog any tricks. Paid fortunes to train him. <laughs> <laughs> Just can't get through this fucking hole, man. No, it's a class one, mate. Devil Finger. I Remember mate, that, cunt? Mate, Devil Finger was a fucking... We'd get copyrighted uh, for BBC, I think, for Devil I Finger, we've done me? it. We've done it on page. Devil Finger. Yeah, Those hunters, mate. Aye. Insane I shit. I had one when he was he had his finger up a hamster's ass or something, mate. I swear, I a pet off running a, about a, a vet or something. He was running about with a dog in his horn or something. Aye, mate. He used to get he used to go brazy on CBBC. Used to go brazy. Remember, <laughs> fucking me. I know what I was watching with my sweet sweet angel. Fucking Dick and Dom doing oh. Dick and Dom doing bogies and uh, the Mitchell Library or something. <laughs> mate, it's all like out. Glasgow. No, it was Glasgow Uni Library. Oh, I love Mitchell. They're Library. hitting the bogies, bro. It's mental. It's hilarious. But Mate, we used to get compared to them a lot. Should we watch? Have we got it here? Why don't we watch it? Will we get fucked for that? Glasgow Copyright Library. of the BBC. Why don't we watch it on Patreon? Yeah, watch keep it. it. Keep it up. Watch about a dick and dom on Patreon. Me, we're all what I sell for the Patreon. You actually watch two guys saying bogies yeah, loudly. What else we doing the Patreon? Evan, tell the people. What are we doing? Uh, we, are we going to? Well, we're, we're going to be talking about. Are you going to do it? India. Oh, aye, we're gonna be talking about India for sure, <laughs> mate, and the Indians in particular. The country I, of India. I was recently in it in India. Fucking lovely Kahari curries and that, but there was some other fucking nonsense going down. I was meant to talk about the TikTok boxing event that we were just at, mate. Aye, we were at the the press conf the first press conference. The presser, bro. And there's some details we'll leave till the Patreon, obviously. Yep. But we could talk about it now. We could run a brief overview. Let's go um, there, mate. So we obviously got asked to host it by Kaz Milligan. Kaz shout Callum to, Milligan. Shout out to Kaz. What a guy. He's a great guy. Um, but we, um, so we got asked to host it, but there was obviously a bunch of sponsors and that, so we had to sort of have a sheet in front of us about aye, this. We got a kind of, aye, a script in a But sense. we did, we got it sent quite late, mm-hmm. right? So we're like, right, fuck it, we'll just sort of wing it. We'll be able to, we'll get through this. We're, we're, we're broadcasters. We're professional broadcasters. We do broadcast every week. <laughs> Surely we can do this. Weekly broadcast. But I, I, so obviously he was saying sort of, it's not going to be open to the public. It's just going to be uh, the fighters and obviously press, which I, I was like, what press is it? <laughs> Imagine it was like the Daily Record, I mean, like I was the, actually, the Guardian. I was at, I can see, like the, I, the, I don't know. BT the, Sport, the, the Glasgow that? Times. Imagine, that. I mean, Imagine we go there and there's like BT Sport, Sky and all Mate, that. Like, what the fuck? Speaking of it, all oh, they kind of broadcasters, what about Eddie Herb? Eddie, you getting called Eddie Herb is the funniest <laughs> good, thing ever. <laughs> Wait, I'm madly like, <laughs> engineer. <laughs> We'll be watching this, mate. An engineer for a site was working on in England. We'll be watching this. A young Englishman, and uh, he's fucking. He, he, he texts me saying, "What's this? I see you and TikTok separating two mad fighters. Eddie Herb, <laughs> <laughs> mate. Eddie Herb and Dana Shite, mate. <laughs> Eddie Herb and Dana Shite. We need to say that one tonight, mate. That's that's our commentary names. But um, so obviously we turned up, and I was expecting it to be a quite a small thing. 
Mate, we turned up. It's literally what you would imagine just a full-on boxing press conference to look like. Aye. Like very nice chairs, nice mass, massive room for uh, it as well. And like the shape of the room was the same, and you know, all that auditorial room. I mate, mean? it was exactly. And then as we walk in, Kaz is like fixing up the banner, the the big sort of poster banner thing they had. I'm like, fucking hell, this is a. And then we've seen the cameras that were on us and that. Aye, and I aye. think that whatever. The press conference will be out now on you, Kazi's YouTube, I think, so you can go watch it. I'm, I'm sure it'll be out by now, um, because obviously probably watched it. it. Was chopped up to bits on every like every t- TikTok I was. It's going to look different though on the cameras. Mate, like the cameras was, were, they were dynamite. It was proper cinematic cameras, Jambo. I know you're probably getting a chub thinking about it. <laughs> um, aye, no, that's, they, they were belters, but aye, sorry, you aye, carry on, mate. So we get in, and then I was kind of like, fuck, we better, we need. To, Turn it on here. <laughs> but obviously, like, as, like, we were there early, like, he wanted to run through stuff with us, and it, it gave us a bit of time to prepare whatever we prepared. <laughs> I don't know what. We were just writing our name, ne- our name next Aye. to certain bits. Here. Right, E, J, J, E. Right, now we both did that one, so I'll write E, E, J. Aye, <laughs> mate, and we're like that, right? And then we fucked one, we're like, we're right on this one now, like, we're, we're all the place, but we go through it. But we are sitting there, like, th- People are starting to fucking slowly filter in and it's just, I just thought it was so like, felt like a fever dream. So many people said that to me, like, see all the people in one place, like just turning up, like you turn around, Kaz is talking to you, right? And then next thing, like Five-O walks in with like, his team and then you go outside and I, Lee Sutherland's in a motor hiding outside or something. Some I'm like, what? Kaz <laughs> what? Kaz is like, I, Lee's, Lee's in the motor. So we walked in, right? And uh, we're talking to Kaz, and Kaz is like, ah, Lee Sutherland's here. And I'm like, ah, b- <laughs> where, mate? Like, there's nobody uh, apart from us. I've seen Lee Sutherland. There's nowhere the man can hide in that room. No, he's not a hideable guy. He's f- <laughs> Lee's the the bright light of the room. He's, he's, he glows almost. Commands it. Aye. And, uh, Aye, I, I was like, that a fever dream? It was weird. It was a who's who of who's fucking who of Aye. Scottish niche celebrities, mate. It was funny. Aye, so Kaz, obviously, he's like that to us. He's... Uh, like, where's Lee? And he's like that. Ah, oh, I just told him to wait in the motor outside. I'm like, what? Like I'm a dog waiting on you going into the shops or something? He's just sitting. You can imagine Lee just sitting in the motor, just staring at you, just doing freezing and all. Mate, but <laughs> do you know what the thing is with Lee, man? Obviously, he came. It was at the Normandy Hotel, so we were in like a conference sort of room that was huge, and then you could go out and there was like a bar bit, but it wasn't, I don't think it was open, but there was a bar, pool table and all that. And I just remember like sort of pacing in and out of there, just like looking to see who was there and that. And I just cl- clocked the black suit and the, I, s- I seen the light hitting off the shades and that. And I was like, there's big Lee. So when I didn't talk to him about Aye. the podcast and that, I thought the podcast was really good. Aye, uh, I see, uh, what a guy. Doing really well. But see, the thing is with Lee, what people don't understand is, right? So people might see people with Lee at the events and think they're off taking the piss. Mate, he loves it, bro. Aye, mate. He's he a showman. Loves it. He's a showman. Aye. Mate. I seen him straight away. Like, what, so you were saying you clocked eyes with him? Where cl- clocked the fucking, as you say, mate, shiny black suit, fucking black tie, shade zone, fresh do chop. Man looked gorgeous, by the way. Man looked fucking. Yeah, Lee's got great skin, by the way. Mate, Lee's a handsome guy, mate. Lee is a handsome dude. I seen the TikTok of him. He'd look in that higgy outside. Did you see that? Aye, <laughs> aye. There was hundreds of shit like that. Like when I first seen him, I looked here and there was like these three wee guys, like younger than me, and they were off. They were all, like, wearing pure like LV bags, not. And they were all just sitting. I was like, they were all getting pictures with like Lee, and Lee was putting the glasses on. You could see him doing all that. And I, I could see it across <laughs> the room, mate. I was like, yes, man. After just pure beeline for him, and I was sitting talking to Lee for a bit, and I was like, ah, boys, who you who you here? Is he? I thought they'd be with like, Jasper or something, and they were like. Ah, eh, Shields, <laughs> Who were they, but? I don't know. I think they're just like. You, I walked up to you and you're like, ah, they're Shields' boys. And I was like, ah, what? What? I was happy. Because I found it pure funny that they were there. Way. How good did it be if it came out? He was like a gay pimp. Oh, man. That'd be amazing. That'd be a sort of story arc where that would be. If he was pump, pimping it, young fucking. <laughs> pump, pumping it. Pimping and pumping. Pimping and pumping, <laughs> young Neds, bro. Mate. That'd be a good fucking. That'd be a good system. It was so surreal, wasn't it? Just being Aye. there. And then. Like five O comes in, and then you see like five O seeing Lee, and then like all the sort of younger ones, Matty and that coming in. You're like, what the uh, fuck is going? And then we're sitting at the front of the camera, and I remember having thoughts like, 
what? Like, no, what are we doing? Is in why are we doing this? But I'm like, what is what the fuck is going on there? And it's funny because, like, see when you were looking up as well, there was people for like uh, social media agencies and that. That was the press kinda. Mm-hmm. They were doing TikToks themselves and that. And uh, like, so you could see them kind of looking a bit professional, sitting with their stuff and all that. <laughs> and then like, mad professional cameras and all that. Like, and these two producers, a director, security guards about and all that. And then you kind of looked around. It was just like actually just a big crowd of cunts just going, "Fucking fuck you, you're fucking bad, man!" <laughs> just, like, just a mad weird testosterone like. Uh-huh. What I what I feel no testosterone as if it's mad scary guys. I just mean like like. Big characters? Aye, characters, mate, wanting to be very egotistical people. And I'm not saying, like, I'm not saying I'm no, you know what I mean? You need to be, to date anything on that bit in front of It was camera. Narcissist Anonymous, bro. <laughs> it was. It was, that's like what it was. Like, it was, bro. But, but do you know, not even in a bad way, it's just like, Aye. what happens at day things, obviously, which I've just learned is like, <laughs> I, I feel like it's a room full of people who are used to being like, he's the mad famous guy. So, like, when they're in a room and it, there's like other people like that. It's like they don't know how to act. Almost, Aye. you know what I mean? They're like shouting shit and all that. It's just like I, 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 I don't was, know. I kind of like because I'm it's fucking bad because I'm doing the mad commentary, not bad. Like was getting people mixed up. No, I thought ah, I, I, that's Higgy. No, wait, that's that Adam. No. Ah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Every cup was just floating about, but I was getting people worried to be like to say to somebody like the wrong name or something. Uh-huh. In a sense, because I was like, this isn't the kind of person that well, would go. Like, see if somebody done that to me. I know I'm saying I'm a, I'm a mad ego a guy, right? But if somebody came up and they're like, eh, you fucking, and they said either didn't know my name or like. Said I was somebody else or something. Not I mean, are you that fucking Ben? You? I'd be like, ah, no, mate, no, I'm Jamie. Like, you know what I mean? But then I was like, these are the kind of people that if I went up and I was like, you fucking higgy, and it wasn't him. It'd be people, fuck you, this cunt's fucking. Aye, man. Aye, aye. But then, uh, then again, mate, it's like we're not gonna like why. Like I've been on their lives at times, but we're not gonna we're not like the, the age like the, the audience for to know who they are. Who is the audience for it, right? Because I was gonna send you a voice note the day, bro. Saying like cunts will probably listen to this, but like the amount of people that like for my like, previous life, cunts for school and cunts I played football with and cunts my old works not that have been texting me like the new, well like, fuck's sake, like she knew that TikTok, like the mad audience for that is so weird because see like it's already like cunts that I haven't spoke to in however many years. There's cunts that are like, what do you do a mad podcast and that because of this. Uh- do you know what I mean? Right. Like, I mate, like, mad cunts from my school that are like, that I'm like, surely they've seen, they've got me on Insta or not. Have they known in the podcast? Like, I like, sure, like, knowing a mad thing, like, how do you know? But, but how just, do you know, know that I do it at least? I one, like, a mad cunt's like, <laughs> How'd you get in a bit? How'd you get into something like that? Is that a thing I've applied uh, just, for? Uh, just apprenticeship. Locked my way up, mate. Four year fucking. I went on end, that. Ended up hosting Kaz Milligan versus the property <laughs> boss. But he was asking as if that's something I found on Indeed.com or something. How'd you get your selling about that? As if I've like went broadcasting jobs, Kaz Milligan and all that. Like, I fuck knows, mate. But I like, even people just for my old, like, older guys and that, they're like, new shop, new tickets and that for like, this. Mate. Like, cunts are pure into it, but it's a. You know the person I'm talking about because I would be in it. I know I'm one of these cunts, I know. But there's a mad certain group of people, a way of thinking that would be pure into something like this. Do you know what oh, I mean? Like yeah. I've got close, close pals that are pure into it. Aye, and, and they're the same cunts that are right into like the Tommy Fury shit. No, that like it's, it's like a, it's <laughs> a certain. Do you know what it is? Speed and all that. They're like, they're like all the same kind of shit. No, oh, that cunt's fucking. No, I mean it's like people who are very. It's like one dimensional sort of almost like um like how would i say this like it's in your dna like you see p- two people arguing you're like wonder what's going to happen next <laughs> like it's, it's pure basic like and it is well it, it's like they're, they're they're sold like drama easily but what i'll say is i'll put this 100 percent in the record see that uh matty getting punched in that like yeah. i've seen people i've seen people a lot of people say that they think that's staged. It, it definitely wasn't. Well, I didn't let's, know. Let's I did talk about this for a bit, right? Just to set up in case somebody's not seen it. But like, so that that all that stuff was dead. Like, see beforehand in that before or the um, before the us hosting it or whatever. We were like talking. We're like, so where are the cunts going to face off and that? Like, there wasn't a mad area for it. Like now it's usually you walk out there and you stand on a podium or something. Like nothing, obviously nothing like that. But so we're like, so that was kind of makeshift in that. And then like, 
so like we I realized this on the day and I was people laughing about it and I messaged Kaz about it because I was like it, the security guard that was meant to be there like he was like I had this security guard that was about seven foot tall mate and he was solid and that and I was like when we were separating cunts you can hear me in the video going where's that fucking huge security guard because like, if you're pulling cunts away and all that and then I was like obviously he's doing like content with Kaz I, uh, like, I, how, like obviously Kaz Kaz said it's his personal bodyguard fair dues you're paying your personal bodyguard you want him on your person at all times but I think he was there out there for a mad, like, a mad content thing. A hundred percent. It was like, <laughs> it was like, I remember you saying, somebody was like, where's the big security guard? And I remember you just going, filming TikToks with Kaz, obviously. And it was like, <laughs> it was the most like representative thing of that whole event. It was like, like the, the security guard who could have split everything up was like, out the TikToks, you know what I mean? And, and it was me and you being pure, oh, come on, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, son. That Matt is wild, but bro. The, the thing is, I'm not blaming Kaz for that, mate. You're paying a cunt 400 quid a day or whatever. You're getting your fucking money. Like, because that's, that's better suited. Obviously, in the real world, it's better suited that where there's a fight going to break out, there's a security guard. But in the business world, the TikTok world, where Kaz is a fucking expert, he's more suited to being opening the, Roy, the Rolls Royce doors, bro. Kaz isn't a health and safety guy. <laughs> no, Kaz, is a, no, Kaz is a numbers, money. <laughs> and, mate. And you got and respect. style. M- numbers, money, style. That's Kaz That's Milligan. Kaz Milligan, bro. Oh, yeah, that, That's Kaz Milligan, bro. But, aye, so fights broke out a wee bit. Like, you're saying that Higgy. You think he's mental? You think he can go for it? Higgy. Are we allowed to keep it? Can we talk about who's got to smash who or not? <laughs> Why would we not be able to? I don't know, mate. We're like... Are we neutrals? <laughs> not we can see what we fucking want, but... Uh, why don't we'll do our predictions on Patreon? Then. Aye, we'll do that. Uh, but it was it was a wild day, mate. It was it was and funny. Then, and then there was another thing on the the face off that we had to pull five on Jasper apart, me and you. <laughs> Aye, that was funny. That was fucking. I, I actually got to a point, mate. I was telling you, like, I was pulling five that much. It felt like it was like it was just going the other way. <laughs> like obviously one of him like the other at me, and it was just neck. It was as if I was a fly, mate. It was just no doing it, and I done. Mate, come on, you fuck! Like, you're, not like, you're not gonna make me pull you back, mate. It'd be so embarrassing. Imagine me on a live stream trying to pull. From, like, I'd have my heels in the ground like that, and I'd be getting pulled. Now, like in the cartoons, like that smoke coming off and that, mate, like no, you're dragging the ground up. I know. See, when Jasper got up, and that I was like, oh, for fuck's sake! And then the funniest part of that whole thing is at the end, right? Kaz and the property boss are like facing off and like kind of fucking getting a bit blah 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 and like they get a bit in each other's face and like Kaz goes to shove him you just hear Dave going right 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 like, like, like some of these dark action like you and your pal fighting or something right come on right come on right, right. <laughs> Wait, and do you know that I guess I was like smiling I can pure remember because you can't see me on the live stream but I can remember like pure smiling and then going Oh, right, right. <laughs> like, oh, I don't want. Actually, like, calm. You, come on. You're <laughs> a businessman here. Like, you can't be pushing the Think of the sponsors, Kaz. <laughs> come on, Kaz. Like, I was feeling disappointed. Mate, it was, I, it was, I don't know why. I, mate, it was amazing because I, I looked at, at you and, like, I seen you do that and I was like, we don't need to do it. Like, I was thinking about you, like, we don't need to do guys. Like, no, mate, I felt like it was a mad human reaction. Like, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> mate, it was so funny the way you done it because, like, the way your face went in that, you're like, Oh, it is a, oh, we don't need this, you guys. Suddenly the event. Oh, no. <laughs> this event, the, all, the only threat that was dished out in this, an hour previous to this was, I'm going to fucking pump your ass. And Every that. fighter got up there just became gay immediately. Like, I'm going to suck your dick, mate. mate. I think we must have looked heavy good. How? We must have looked amazing, mate, and they've come up and just been horn dogs, bro. <laughs> they've just come up and sat next to us and just been like, they look better in person. I'll, I'll spunk in your face, Kaz. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, I can't believe the big man said that. I thought you were gonna say we look good because we didn't like succumb. He just slip, slip my gay hang out. <laughs> we should have done that as soon as we, the cameras went on. We should have just started going for it, man. Imagine we had <laughs> sex in that table. <laughs> <laughs> gay sex. Scalp your ass, <laughs> As soon as the cameras went on. <laughs> mate, that would have, mate, you might talk numbers, bro. Mate, that was, I don't know. But I, it, was a, it was a fun event. We've got other, we'll talk about other, the juicy old details. Need, I will we'll go on that on patreon.com for slash Rayleigh's gaff. But you were in India. Now, I know you want to keep some of this for fucking... For you got the notes? I've got notes, mate. I've got India notes, bro. Oh. But I, I do want to keep some for the keep, party, mate. Keep Just, the dirty stuff for there. Mate, I'll keep all the... There wasn't much dirty. Well, it was India, mate. A lot of shit was dirty. 
But, <laughs> aye. So, I'm just going to read out some of my notes, right? I'm going to say, like, I want your gut reaction to this. Indians have terrible business savvy. Well, you tell me what you make. Don't put no, it on me. You tell me what you think. What do you think about Indians? Do you think they've got good business savvy? They're good with mobile phones, bro. Like, they're good at, like, I love, like, Indians. Do you know, I went through a period of, like, fucking... Like, see, Indians, I, like, I was I was in this mad hating Apple period in my life. Like, I'd be pure, <laughs> you your fucking brainwash, you fucking losers. And that, because I was watching Indian guys go, this can do everything that the, the iPhone, <laughs> the iPhone, like, it, it, they were saying, like, this can do everything. It was showing you, like, the processing chip and all that, as if that fucking means it to aye, me. Aye. I was, like, try to call, pure, remember it in my brain, pure, it's got the same fucking processing chip as the fucking iPhone. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I, was, know me. I was in a mad thing, so they would review phones like the real me. Yes. And like um, the Honor 10 and that, mate, I was all on that shit, yeah, mate. Yeah, See, like high yeah. high grade, but no the top Androids that were like, mate, I would go and look to buy them and it, or like look for reviews and every review was Indian. Mm. But mate, that this is what I mean. So they're technologically, mate. Advanced. An advanced nation, mate, of men, uh -huh. of women, mate. Very advanced nation when it comes to that, all that bullshit, right? They don't, you, like, they don't, mate, you go there and it's like, mate, see when you go buy a packet of snout, they bring out a, a big bucket, mate, with just hundreds of packets of snout in it and just go, there you go, pick one, you just reach your horn in, pick it out and I buy like it. it. No, I know, but it's no good business savvy. They're not, like, no tills, not, know what I mean? Like, they've Where did they put the money? Mate, just in their pockets and that. <laughs> like, it's, it's hell, mad. Mate. Did they have a calculator on that? I always, always, always has a calculator, calculator. Like, but mate, it was like, so, so, so mate, Joe fucking, like Joe didn't understand, right, so Joseph Guscan was there, he'll probably be heavily influencing these notes, right, but he didn't know, like, the money yet, right, so, but I'll tell you this, at one rupee is one penny, nearly exactly, right, so if it's 300 rupees, it's three quid, which, by the way, like, every meal there is, like, three quid, like, a big fucking proper meal with Nan and all that, everything, it's like, 350, mate. I bought a, a coke quite not. It's mental for money and that. But Joe was bartering, right? <laughs> so like he went to a market and he was like, I want to get a laser. I want to get a mad green laser on that. And the green laser, uh, that's there's a story behind why he wanted the green laser, and I'll tell that in a bit, right? But he went up and he was like, ah, shoot, the last he was like uh, three hundred, and he was like, e two fifty. Me battering for like 50p the woman actually got, got a wane or man cane or that like sitting next to him he's like Hank he thought it was a fiver he right, thought yeah. it was in for 30 quid and he's like fuck it must be a good you know give 25 quid like just one oh my god mate but he's like I'll give you, two, I'll give you 250 and, that. and she's, no. like, she's like no I can't I just can't do that and he's like I could just walk up there and get an R1 for 200 right now and I was saying all and she was like oh and then I think she ended up just giving him it for 250 and he went and walked away and he was like saved a fiver there got it for 250 and my dad was like that's 50 pence mate that's like oh that's, it's shocking that's a mate. woman's like daily like that's amazing that would have been good for a laser not I mean Aye. an extra 50p and Joe was like oh fuck not and then he was like I'll go back and give him money but then he scurrying back. He lost the no, but this was later on, and he lost the pen. So he was like, "I need to buy an R pen anyway. I'll go and get one after a little laser pen. I'll go and get one after, and I'll just fling her a fiver." I was like, "That's what you should do, mate." Fucking went down. They found a laser somewhere else for two pound. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bum bastard, mate. But I, it's economy, mate. So that's that's just really the Indians with a business savvy, mate. We, mate, we were at a beach shack for a night, right? So in in Goa, where I was, right. It's like, they're like, economy comes for these beach shacks, mate, right? There's like one every like 100 metres and Goa Beach is huge and it's tropical. Are they mate. nice inside? Mate, no, it's literally a shack, mate. Right. And it's just sand and tables and chairs, but it's like a, it, it's weird, I can't really explain it. Is it's, it an Indian bothy? No, because it's all open at the sides and that. It's just like a, it's like a roof, bro. Open air bothy. It's four, four <laughs> posts, a roof, a bar, and then like a back bit where they all like sleep and that, mate, I was there. Tell, well, I'll just tell you this now. We who, wait, who sleeps there? Mate, the, the workers in it. Manu, right, mate. Okay. Manu was my man, mate. I love Manu, mate. We went down <laughs> there and we didn't have any cash. And he was like, it's okay, you drink for free all day and come back and give me the money. Manu. Mate, Manu mate, was... Mate business zero, zero. The best guy ever, but zero bit. Mate, my dad was trying to get... <laughs> I'll tell you that later. <laughs> okay. Right. So, um... So terrible business savvy. This is the, this is another thing, right? So the, the, you get these things called tuk tuks. You know that, aye. So 
a tuk tuk is a, they, they just drive about all the time. They just beat and go taxi, taxi, like aye, that. Aye. right? So a ta- a, ta- a motor shouted. They're all shouting taxi constantly, bro. Like all them, mate. Constant. Don't even drive taxis. Not I think that's what all you hear. Barbers. Taxi, 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 taxi. <laughs> mate, I just barbers just run outside taxi, <laughs> <laughs> mate. So uh, uh, this cunt in a motor's like at taxi, and I, I'm like visibly no, mate. All good. I'm walking that way. The cunt right in front of him was in a tuk tuk. And he was like, taxi? And I was like, Sam had a lesser vehicle, no. Mm. And I walked away, I cut in a moped with me, like taxi shit, and I'm done, taxi. Because <laughs> like, cunts just off your lift, and Aye. they'll be like, right, fiver. And you're like, obviously, it's Mate, a fiver. That, that, to them, that's... That's a pure, that's the pure, like, that's a pure third world thing. See, like, see, like, when you go to, like, Vietnam, Vietnamese islands and that, Aye, like, yeah, yeah. It, mate, You've got, if you've got a motor, you're a taxi driver, Aye. mate. If you've got something that goes on the road, you're a taxi mate, driver. That's what happens in gear, isn't it? Aye. That's what happens in gear, isn't it? Like, is it? Aye, aye like, cunts will, like, that's maybe just Scottish islands. Well, that's more like, they'll gay cunts lifts if you see them walking up, but that's mm-hmm. a bit different, obviously, but it might just be island things. Who knows? But I so, <laughs> so, the ter- terrible business, Avi, this is the one I was most excited to tell you about, mate, because I think you know this, they're the horniest guys on earth. Do you know that about Indians? Bro, the Indians love the ladies, bro. They, they love them, mate. They love the in, ladies. In, in particular, my lady, bro. And I was pure, like... Never, they've never seen the likes, bro. Oh, bro, a fucking a, a maiden from the lands of... A white choco a honey. A Campbelltonian maiden. A white maiden, choco bro. honey. <laughs> mate, she's like, she's like, only, like, so my dad's like, ah, Morgan. <laughs> like, no, maybe no specifically Morgan. It's like, see, when you go there, by the way, like... Guys will look at like you need to cover up most of the time. Like obviously it's different if you're at a beach and that, but like if you're in the town, you need to have like a shirt on and shit like that because like they just it's, they don't care. Like they're me. I know in their culture in no stare. I took to doing this, mate. Like because I'm such a mad. I'll tell you more about my rage about this, mate. I was raging the full time about this because oh, like I'm a mad fucking daft we could mate i was pure trying to fight with them all every time and that like see see when they were walking oh, by mate. they were actually staring at morgan like this like this is them walking by this way right and they would just go like walking right back like no care mate so i took to go on like that to cunts and like leap them in front of the view and just staring at them like that and they would go because they don't want the smoke no None of them mate want- you would see if you went to vietnam you'd be in the jail within about three years mate I think so 100 percent. how everybody just stares at you like that oh no and then especially, no, well, especially like your girlfriend and that as well, because like to them, like me, you've got to understand this is the golden ticket. Like they're right. just used to Indians, like, like, all these sees Indians, and then this they're like, whoa, it, mate, do you know? It's because I'm gonna say this, and it might sound weird or whatever, but it's like a white rose and a and a garden of red roses. Uh, mate, that's it. That's all it is. But I would like you. Can you look up just in the background while I'm still talking? why indians love getting a picture with you and look at the explanation right because it's fucking mad but okay. is it so mate, it's no just because you're a white guy it is but the explanation of like what they actually think is mental is it some, it, is it something like I, they, I, they I, want to show people that they know a white guy I, well it's that as well but it's like right here we go truly so why why do people in India want to take selfies with white people? Truly, the people that do this typically mean no harm. It is a gesture of friendship and pride to them to have met someone from abroad. No, but in that in that article, it says like and they're um, horny. It says like <laughs> people from it, it says stuff like they think that America, Australia, and the UK are like utopian, uh-huh. like, and it says like they think of themselves as lesser people and all that. That's like, exactly mind I was saying about V. I, I just Vietnam, wanted to own the, the screen so that I could prove that. Like I didn't want to be saying like Indians hink the lesser people were to being a fact because uh. I looked it up and I read it was all these kind of articles, but I read I'll read I'll read a bit of this, right? Scroll up because that bit was interesting. So um this so it's just talking about how why they want to take a picture, obviously. It says this extends to the white population. There's a sense of pride in knowing a white person, and it's something they might even brag about to their friends and family. It is also an unfortunate side effect of the fact that in India, fair skin is often the standard of beauty, and white women seem somewhat exotic to the less educated and unworldly in India. Aye. There you go, mate. So so the thing about the white woman's mad, mate, because every advert there, like, I was bashing Indian telly, and that Indian telly's insane, bro, it's so what bad. What did you see on it? Like, Matt, it's, they're constantly singing, all they do is sing, every advert's singing, like, <laughs> they feel love singing, bro, like, you just t- turn on to a hang and you'd see this mad guy, and he would have, like, a gun or something, and he'd be like that, just a mad chubby Indian guy, <laughs> <laughs> and then he would be like, but I can't, but, and then, like, like, obviously, and I'm an Indian, like, 
no way I'm at Bollywood sound, but you know what it's like. They just start singing. I'm at operatic Bollywood tune, mate. And I'd be like, what is that cool film? Like they just love a sing song, love a jingle. Uh, all their adverts, like every bird in the adverts, is like you can tell it's an engine, but the bleach white, whiter mm. than me, mate. And I'm pasty mm. as fuck. You know. That was a thing. See, yeah. when we were in Thailand, you used to see that like Thai women walking about with umbrellas, not to no be tanned. I like, the hang with them. Spoke about that because they seem like they've got money to no be you. Ah, yeah, it's like the, the whiter your skin is, the more like richer or the mayor Aye. sort of because you're not in the street like you're mm. not like, working at a market and all that you're not getting blazed by the sun kind of shit like that it's mad but because there's like engines or some engines that are actual black guys but think about this right think about this so in a in a country like india outdoor jobs are the poorer jobs right street food tuk tuk drivers farmers it's construction, construction. <coughs> Is it the same here? Would you Aye. say? I would say. But then think about like people that work in like oil rigs and that. But then that's a, quite uh, an that's, extreme. But that, but that'd be like in India they couldn't work in fucking gold mines or something. <laughs> or like, <laughs> gold I don't, I don't know, um, lithium mines or something. That's probably very. They probably get probably treated get like shit, bro. I eat grand a year, mate. I come dig cobalt <laughs> out the grand man. <laughs> mate, so this thing happened. Right, I'll go back to like them being lost for little devils, man. So a fucking cunt walked up. And walked past Morgan when she was in our bra- in our like bikini when we we're lying on sunbed. We phoned it like that and walked by, and he was like doing that for the side, mate. And I got up and I was like, mate, show me your phone. Cause he walked away a bit, and I was like, she was like, I think he was videoing me. And I was like, no way. And I was like, show me your fucking phone. I was like, give your phone and own it. And he was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's like walked. And I was like, ah, what the fuck? And then this other cunt came up, right, like that, mate, videoing Morgan, like a foot in front of him, mate, like that. Holding it out and that, and I go up and I was like, "What the fuck you doing?" And I smashed his phone at <laughs> his hand, bro. And it pure witness, and they went down. He was pure pick up, and he was like, "I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry." He's like, "Just one picture, one picture." And I was like, "What of her?" And he was like, "Or, or me, or, or you like that?" And I was like, "No, fuck off, you fucking weirdo." I was pure shouting, balling me. Mad, like my dad, or my dad's, like, my dad's like, "You're fucking." You know, older than that. No, like, he was to like, you? Yeah, he was like, you I think you're. Too far. But like, this was my first day there. Right, so you didn't understand yet? Didn't know me. And then. I still, I can't eat. I'll back. I'm backing Frank Kelly up here, definitely, which I always do. But what I will say is, it's a weird thing to try and get used to, especially videoing. Staring's one thing. Videoing, videoing is mate, a different video, level. Staring's fine. Like, because she, she was getting stared at all the way for this, and I wasn't caring. Loving it. I was like, hi, <laughs> fuck, so that's my missus. That's my butt. What's happened? <laughs> mate, what's happened? Kumar, that's my missus. <laughs> <laughs> mate, I mean, I'm a cunt called Kumar. He was some boy. I was like, ah, where's Harold? And he's like, ah. What? <laughs> I fuck. thought you'd have got that all the time, mate. <laughs> no, no. He's like that fucking t- 10 million kumals in India. <laughs> I know, I know. No getting out of concert. You must get out of concert. Boy, how many kumals do you know? <laughs> how many times do you hear the name Kuma? Yeah. Like, Dad, you ever hear the name Kuma? <laughs> mate, that's that bad guy going like, that's that bad guy that like, got up to an Indian meal. My name's John. I'll be like, oh, Wilkes Booth. Uh, <laughs> I know. Like, what? Must get out of time, mate. <laughs> <laughs> One mad John. <laughs> um, Aye, but so you're fighting with this Indian guy. So I no. I'm did you take him to the Did you take mate, him down into the sand? Mate, no. I literally was just. You should have oh, wrestled you, him mate. into the sand. Mate, I was bro. thinking the double legged him into the sand. Is my the sand? I'm mate. Do you know what? I'm a I'm a big sand guy now. I used to fucking despise the sand, mate. See, I thought none of you have ever bathed in the Indian Ocean. I don't think, but when you've done that, sand in between your feet, sitting on fucking the beach in Goa, mate, where. Jamaican, you ever had a, ju- a exotic Jamaican Bacardi Breezer, bro? <laughs> no. Mate, we need to find these things. We How? To, to, to find these bastards. Jamaican mate. Bacardi Breezers? Exotic Jamaican Bacardi Breezer, bro. Look it up. It's Indian. In India, it's all the <laughs> You age, say bro. that as if you're rapping it. <laughs> exotic Jamaican Bacardi, Bacardi Breezer. Breezer. I'm sipping exotic Jamaican <laughs> Bacardi Breezer in the parking lot in Queens. In a Beezer. In a Beamer. <laughs> um, aye, but so I've got... So I, I fucking wrapped the mouth off that cunt, I. Um, Morgan had a good theory about pavements there. Oh no, it doesn't look like that, mate. It's that purple one. See that one there? To the right, aye, that one Is that there. purple? Aye, it's got purple, you know what I mean? Oh. That's it, mate. Exotic Jamaican passion, bro. Oh, Jamaican passion. Oh, so it's no made in Jamaica, it's to the flavour it? Aye. Exotic Jamaican Bacardi Breezer. You say, that sounds like you're telling me Jamaicans are the originals. Wait, so if I said... Exotic orange Bacardi Breeze. Is the Jamaican that's fucked it up there? I think that's for Jamaica. 
And I'm thinking, how's it made its way in there? <laughs> and I mean, when did Breezel get involved? <laughs> Indians doing the trade deal. I will give you fucking a hundred billion for it. <laughs> Mate, I Indians, like, I don't understand because, like, I went down to the beach and I got two litre bottles of water and two glass bottles of Pepsi, and it was one it was 160 rupees, one pound oh. 60. How is that? A how, viable. I, we were saying that like how do, how did they buy that in? Wait, can you look that, that up, mate? No, I've not even looked it up once. Can you explain to us the Indian economy? I just say how like how they how is Amer are American goods so cheap in India? I can't say that I looked that up, hunters, mate. Because like, tell me about Morgan's theory. Mate. So Morgan had a pave a theory about the pavements. There's no pavements in Goa. There's no one pavement. Like everywhere you walk on the road, and then when a lorry's gone by, I mean it's constant beeps, uh, beeps and taxi. That's all you hear. But it's just beep, beep, beep. It's can't say, and they just scoot by uh -huh. you. And that there's no. I, I was in taxis with them. I was in taxis. Oh, sorry, right. So why are goods so cheap in India compared to the USA? Low import duties. Import duties in India are generally lower than other countries. This reduces the cost. Ah, oh, so it just means they've got factories and shit there. So right. they must make it, or they don't import Pepsi and that. They've just it got it. Makes total sense. Um, but I, so on the roads, I was in this, uh, like in this taxi, and I was like, so what's like, what is happening here? Like, how can you just drive by all these cunts? Like, dri you're driving on the wrong side of the road for ages, overtaking hundreds of cunts, just swerving about, nay red light. Then I see a red light when I was there. I was like, what's going on there? And he's like, he was like, uh, <laughs> uh, in India. There is no regulations. That's what he said to me. He goes, <laughs> he goes, you, he's like, you're from UK? They're obsessed with UK, mate. They fucking love UK. Like, they get pure happy. The queen in that? I love I'm, it. I, I, mate, I'm for England, bro. I <laughs> made some of them, didn't I? I was like, mate, no, I realised. You're kidding I, on you for England, I, I, I couldn't say... London, mate. See, see, when you say Scotland, see when I go Scotland, Scotland, see, cause I, that's one word to me. They, you need to say Scotland. Aye. They, mate, every time I said Scotland, nobody understood. As soon as I said Scotland, like, and I've never... Thought about that as like a linguistic. Well, if you think you look at Scotland, <coughs> that sounds like Scotland. I know, I know, I know, that, I know, I know that obviously, but I just mean it's funny that that's like the mad the one thing I had to change in the sentence. Like I didn't have any. Do you know what I mean? And other times, like when you when you think somebody can't understand you, can I enunciate different ways? Now it was like I just found it, just going. That's the way they would say that. Too, do you know what I mean? Like I think like how would parts. they how would they say Scotland? And I'm like, oh, they would say it like that. So I go Scotland because mm. that's exactly how they talk. But um, but I so the the pavement theory so there's no there's no road there's no pavements there at all it's just straight roads but it's constant shops mate and just mad shops that are just flung up and that like it's all just like two bits of wood and then like corrugated iron and then like eight shirts and a mad guy <laughs> sitting with a bag of money just like who's wanting a fucking shirt want one of these fucking things mate <laughs> it's so funny the Indians mate Indians the Indians love like mad shirts that. Have like a mad hang on them and that, like, like, like Frankie says, the, min relax the minions or something. Like, <laughs> like, you don't like a shirt, <laughs> no, oh, I, a t -shirt. Well, no, if it's a shirt, it needs to have like monogram palm trees, mate, head to toe. Oh. Just they you know that the shirt of choice, all white, navy palm trees, just oh, era. That was every Indian guy who's wearing that, smart as hell. It's, and, and I see, no, it's so funny, <laughs> you start seeing the shops that every gun gets the clays, and it's all the mad, the mad shops outside the roads, mad. But I, Morgan's theory was. The pavements, if they had pavements, they would lose like a uh, revenue, be like uh, like economical revenue because nobody would buy it for the mad shops. Because the only reason you stop, like you stop for like something going by in the road, and you're like stop for ages with just hundreds of sick shit going by you, and you've got like three cunts that own mad weird shops just coming up to you like, sir, sir, Aye. Like, fuck it, man, just buy that. What I'll say is, what would stop them for just walking across the pavement and doing that? Like walking no, the, two steps ahead of pavement. You don't need to stop when you're on a pavement. You just walk. You need to oh, stop because oh, right. of the lorries gone right, by. Sorry, I'm thinking you're driving here. That no. makes total sense. So you're walking and everybody that's obviously visiting India is just walking about. So it's like all these tourists, because I'm a touristy place and all, they all need to stop every two minutes because there's lorries gone by and then motorbikes and then hundreds of this, like motors just whizzing by you. So they need to stop in front of these shops for ages and it defo does. Like a, a few times I just bought shit because it's like... It's fucking mental, bro. Like, know how when you... What's the, what's the daftest thing you bought there? What do you think? The hang-up gave you, mate. Ganesh. Cheers, bro. <laughs> Ganesh. No, I didn't... That wasn't the daft. That was, um, that was spiritual. It was the... I, I bought even the... Um, so, so, for example, we'll talk about that, right?
Trips, the podcast is brought to you by G4 Claims. If you're involved in a road accident that was not your fault, call G4 Claims on 01698 767 172 or visit them at notatfaultclaim.com. The process is completely free and you could keep 100% of your compensation. Troops, if you want more episodes of Riley's Gaff, head over to patreon.com forward slash Riley's Gaff. We have the £3 tier, which gives you access to the extended part of each normal episode where we normally save all the hot action for. We also have the £5 tier, which gives you all the extended episodes a bonus episode each month and access to the Discord chat. The £10 tier gives you all of the above, but you get two bonus episodes a month and 10% off merch. And the last tier, the daddy, the goat tier as it's called, is £20 a month and you get everything and anything you would ever want. You get to request episodes, you're a mod on Discord, so your name's a fancy colour and everything. Oh my God. You get shout outs in any episodes if you want a wee birthday shout out, whatever. Whatever you can think of, and we can do it, we will do it. And on top of that, you get 20% off merch. How sweet is that? So if you've already joined, thank you so much. And if you haven't, what are you waiting for? Patreon.com forward slash Riley's Gaff. Like money wise, so I bought like stuff for Evan and Evan's sweet angel. And then I got Morgan got stuff for like all oh, her pals and all that. And it was like hundreds of shit, right? Like 12 bracelets and like three bags and all this stuff. And it was like a tenner, bro. It was like, I was like, th- working out. I was like, oh, this must have been like 30p each. And it's mad hand woven bags and all that. Ah. It's actual mad, bro. But the thing I bought you was like a quid. And it's like a mad hand carved statue of Ganesh and that. But I was constantly, mate, I was fucking big balling out. M- Manu, he get well tipped. Don't worry about it. I gave him a score one day as a tip, which is like mental. Manu's. Man who's been kept all right. See if, you, see if you're good to me, I'll be good to you. But I, I'll go back to my list, right? So, it's now you're talking about these videos of like, now you're talking about these videos of like Indians like selling tech and that. And <laughs> Reviewing mate, phones, aye, I love it, mate. mate they, That's like ASMR to me. So, they were all coming up on my eye. Aye, aye, it's good. Like, uh, and the Intel Core Processor is a uh, core processor, is like, it's a good accent for it. But they, um, so I was like in all their algorithms. It's weird. TikTok's banned, which is mental. That is weird. Uh, but do you know what was mad? I was loading up TikTok, and then it would show me one video, and then it wouldn't scroll. So I just keep deleting the app, like like swipe my up. Know what I mean? So I got a bit of my fix in TikTok, but um, I was on Reddit, and I was getting like the mad in- engine algorithm. So like I was this video came up, and it was like. <clears throat> It was like a guy selling a scooter because they're obsessed with scooters and all. As you know, for like I think that's all Asian countries are very heavily like their transport is mainly scooters. So like it was like this guy selling a scooter, and he was like, "It's two thousand, it's two thousand rupees," which would be I don't you know how much that was? Whatever. I think I worked it out. It would be two hundred quid, and it was a pure twenty thousand maybe. I uh, twenty thousand. No, that's what it was. It was twenty thousand. What what was two grand, right? Which I was like, it's heavy cheap for a. <clears throat> heavy cheap for a scooter but he was like the the guy in the video kept saying like why not spend two thousand pounds on this it's, it makes you money and all that like all that kind of stuff and all the engines in the comments were all like why would you buy that because you could you could buy a lesser scooter and also an ipad question mark <laughs> <laughs> like, was like, and then it was like somebody below the like, bro why do that when you could buy a lesser scooter a Samsung tablet and also maybe a mobile phone question mark. It was like the, all these mad cunts like I know how to maximize this two grand we've got here trips. Like, Aye, up here. We need to really just let's not just jump into this let's guys. Let's just jump into getting this scooter because we could get like, let me just pause it that we get a lesser scooter and also an iPad trips like we can get an iPad together. iPads are sick. Um but I that is n- near enough the end of the notes. I know you've got something about. something got dirty. A, f- a few things. I called a cunt a big ride. <laughs> I called him an Indian guy a big ride. That was funny. I think that's funny saying that. Big ride. No, it's amazing that you said recently, doing the Swanee. Doing the Swanee. Love that. <laughs> when is I saying doing the Swanee? You say that's that doing the Swanee. <laughs> and I love that I saying, like mate. Doing the Swanee. It's I good, love that saying. Mate, I love all that, like, um, sea cunts mad part around going for a shite. 
I'm, like, I'm off to see a sailor off to see, you know. Aye. Like, I love all that, mate. That's it's a bit like, dirty I'm for da- me. I'm dropping the wings after the pool. If you've got, <laughs> if you've, <laughs> see, I don't like when mad guys say shit like that, man. Mate, dirty guys. I'm away to drop the wings off at the pool and the boozer. That's, that's funny. That's, that's funny. Hilarious. That's funny, but that tells me you shite all the time. Because, Hunter, a wee no, wee. but I don't know. It's like, you've actually, like, I don't want to hear a mad description of your shite. Just tell me I got to the toilet. Aye. That's enough for me, bro. I, I also don't like, I'm going to the toilet. Got a toilet. I'm just got a toilet, mate. I don't like that either. Cause it's like, what are you gonna? No, I've realised as well, mate. No, I've realised about myself. Have you still got India? I've got um, some plain action. Do you want to save it? Um, go Patreon. No, I want to tell you about a one thing first, mate. I want to talk about you don't mess with the Zohan that I watched on the plane. Mm-hmm. You watched that in a while. When was the last time you watched it? Mate, should, you should both watch that, by the way. I have seen it. It's pertinent at the it's moment. It's amazing. It's very pertinent. It's about the fucking conflict. Can you make that now? It's about Palestine-Israel conflict. When I get away with that now. No, it's all well, it's peace, mate. It is? I know, I know it is, but it's not exactly a fucking political commentary, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it is. The, the de- I is, mate. The, the developer. Adam Sandler, mate. Political <laughs> no, commentary. The developer. I, I don't know if you even remember the film. The developer in the film. He's a. Uh, Is that the guy that the, her barber shop or something like that? She's trying to buy up the street, the aye, Israel aye. and Palestine street that they mm. occupy each side, and he's trying to buy that up to make a mad super casino or something. Is he not a like, barber, but aye. But then he's that just to buy up the mad block to build. He, he a mad works mall. in a barber shop, and somebody's trying to develop the barber shop that he works in. Right, so, right, right, so right, right, right. This mad American guy looks like Vin- Vince McMahon or something. <laughs> and he's like, my girlfriend's got lovely. He's got the perfect boob to bum ratio. And I'm <laughs> You know, he's a like mad cunt like that. But he's like, he sets it to like get the Jews. <laughs> I said that about Hingley. The Israelis. I've heard this before. And, and the Arabs, the Jews and the Arabs. He's trying to set them against each other by like graffitiing one of the shops and all that. And it's just a good analogy for what's going on in the Middle East now. Who is really to blame for the endless violence? I'm staying at it. He's wipe my hands with that. I don't want we're, to we're do not going to solve it a podcast, Jamie. I'm not going to solve but it. You don't mess with Zohan's hilarious, bro. It's it's a laugh a minute, bro. Mate, I think um, I think like the critics always hate Sandler. Aye, but why, mate? He's a goat, mate. Do you know why it is? It's because like I think critics like actors that pure have range. As you, we're Aye. always talking about range. That's true, that's true. And but, uh, Sandler's just Sandler and every one of them. Maybe apart from the Zohan. Mate, no, the Zohan is big Sandler. Joe? What about Jack and Joe? Jack and Joe plays Jack and Joe, fuck's sake. That, that's range. That's range. That's no, shite, but... Nah, mate, the, mate, mate Sandler's go, Sandler's go, like, there's Punch Drunk Love's, like, one of the best, mate. Punch Drunk Love's unreal. It's about, he's a mad, have you seen that? Sandler's a mad autistic guy who's, like, got, like, three sisters who pure bully him and he ends up, like, pure fretting and he's dead. Is this recent? No, it's old, mate. It's excellent, but it's so good. Sandler's got, like, good films, bro. Funny People was quite dark, funny, Aye. heavy, funny film. No, like that. Is and then a, what else was there? Obviously the fucking uncut gems. Uncut gems, but there was another one. I know. I don't know. I mean, I don't He's got one out every three months. Him and Jennifer Aniston shagging or something. I know. I know. Did you see the basketball film he was in? No. Oh, what was that? I can't remember the name yet, but there is. There was like an NBA player that plays the basketball. Have player. we ever he, spoke about? Oh this? wait, uncut gems. No. That because no. uh, Hingy's in that. Who's the I, basketball uh, player? Kevin. Kevin. Kevin, 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 Kevin James. James. No, he's Ke- in Ke- sure. What's his name? Kevin, Kevin Garrett. Garrett. Garnett. 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 That's no, it. No, but I was saying because Kevin James is in everything. As <laughs> <laughs> his big mate. Uh, mate. Kevin James. Big Kev. Mate, Kevin James made an appearance at the in in, in Goa with the Zohan about on the plane <laughs> Fagoa and you don't mess with Zohan. He was like there as Kevin James and he was attending in the attending the hockey sack till the middle of your there. battle hockey sack. That's it. It's called hustle. And that's that's so, the, uh, the it's on net. It's on that in it. It's class. I Is it good? Sandal just. Files them at Sandler knocks it out of the park, mate. See the thing is, for the rate of films he's got, it's the same like cunts go, oh fucking, uh, like Tom Cruise. Now cunts don't like Tom Cruise for whatever reason. I think he's a great guy. He's a shell. He's a fucking great guy. He's a, a Scientologist. That's what. He's a Scientologist shell, bro. Mate, I love the Scientologist. He's a puppet. I'm trying to get in there, bro. Shh. Mate, I'm trying to punt a bit of gear to Scientology, bro. I'm trying to get a young nail, bro. Hey, He's I, looking for a pen. But, <laughs> mate, I'm glad. Imagine I took it down way pen, mate. Because you know pen can collapse a society. Pen? A mate, good imagine pen? imagine everybody was on pen. Mate, if everybody smoked a little pen, the, the world, world would be sweeter. <laughs> world would we could all live like we're in fucking Goa. No, nothing would work right in that, but... Nah, we'd, we'd, all, we'd all have the, the business sense of an indie man very soon. <laughs> hey, fucking... 
Must you give me their Twitter? Just fucking take four <laughs> Dude, or something. I don't know. That's actually what it was like. That is honestly what it was but like. But that's bro. a bit of a carefree life, bro. It is a carefree life, and it's a. It was a. It was a nice like. Um, it was a nice vibe. Other than the mad. Do you know what it is? I know. See, see the Indians that were horny as hell. They left, so they were there. So we arrived on the thirtieth. They were there thirtieth, thirty first, and the first, and then they were away because they were all coming from Mumbai and Delhi. That's like the pure, like if you're from Mumbai, mate, and there's like 60 million and there's no one white woman, obviously when you come down to, oh, do you know what I mean? Like You're going to party. Like in Goa, they see the You're waiters. You're going to make it snow. <laughs> see the waiters and that in Goa, like they're like never, they were so, res- like they would never, it's no, like it's just the people that are deprived of that aye. ivory skin, mate, mm. for so long. But aye, that's can't the that, can't that's the horny engines, mate. I'm, I mean, if I was deprived of my maiden for so long, I might get a bit. <laughs> stare, stop, stare. stop videoing your bird, man. <laughs> 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 I did this shit like that, mate. No, I've realised that day. No, I've realised I'm really against, bro. <laughs> you might respect this. <laughs> uh, I've realised that. See, when I'm about to have sexual intercourse, don't like a pure funny taste in my mouth, bro. Like my dinner in that, no oh, way. No, no. bro. If I can <laughs> see, if, <laughs> more dinner, bro. mate. See if I swear to God, this is actually what my brain's like. See if I'm like, see if I can taste like a steak pie or something, right? And I'm like pure kissing and that, ready to have sex. I start envisioning myself as like a mad fifty-year-old fat guy for like. Who, whatever steak pie and gravy represents in my brain, I start Aye. imagining that's me, and I start feeling disgusting. Like I'll go, mate. Do, mate, do you know that? I'll go, bro. I'll cut things short early to, to go. I'm about to fucking fix myself up. Um, go and brush my teeth or something, Aye, mate. You need to brush your teeth, mate. I can, um, like you have got. You must be a very sexual man. What? <laughs> because I've got a theory about this. See to be able to see if I taste something in my mouth, right? Because I hate like I went dinner shagging is mental. Like post dinner shagging, <laughs> right wild. after your last bite, like a pie, <laughs> or something, mate, Singapore noodles and got up and shagging. <laughs> no, no. Mate, I think I think what's even I that's bad. But what's even worse is like see like I'm had big dinner, a carvery or something, shagging after a carvery. Yeah, a full, full brekkie for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Stoughton doing at 3pm, getting a full brekkie, then riding your fucking dick <laughs> off, mate. <laughs> I know, what are you going to say? I, I, I was saying you're a very sexual man. You must be right, because see, to see, I, I, I don't like it, as I said, I wouldn't like to be shagging in a dinner breath, but if I was, I wouldn't, for a second, like, like you obviously need to be, you need to feel sexy. Is what I'm trying to say. Maybe I do. You need you need to feel sexy to maybe. Uh, no, I don't know. No, like if you're not feeling, like you're feeling like that's my fifth year old guy. You're like, oh, I, can I do I'm this? D- I'm just like in my heat, like I'm disgusted. <laughs> I'm disgusted. That's a horrible mad, mad, mad fa- I start thinking I'm a mad fat old guy that would that would that yeah. would do that. Oh, I'm a fat old guy, so maybe that. <laughs> my head, I mate. start feeling despicable. I'm like <laughs> coughing in that. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom in that bottom Climbing on top of you What would you do if, <laughs> What would you do if you were This a fictional time and all that This is another like age Like whatever Just shagging world. a bird Fucking bent air on that <laughs> Fucking hell She burps She burps She burps I can't let her away with it. Pat her back. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Good on you. Yeah, no, I never. I'm sorry, Tim. I think I'm up with Imagine hope. hearing that for like the. I'm sorry, Tim. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm sorry, Tim. You'll get used to it. You'll get used That's to it. That's just how I do it. <laughs> Make birds burp. <laughs> uh. Oh my God, a hand to me. I don't worry about it. Oh, don't worry, baby. It's just the start. Job, job done. <laughs> you walk away. Yes. It started. I got the burp. That was the I goal. Buzz, I do new birds a burper. But bro, but bro in, an, in another world, that could have been the mad sexy thing. What? Like burping. No, I mean, like, it's weird that in our, like, because obviously in our society, it's constructed as to, yeah. to like, uh, to think of women as like <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but like <laughs> things that are like sexy in that like in, a, in another universe like why no there's not a u- there can be a universe that having a, f- having, a, a having a breath for a steak pie and gravy is the oh. ideal move before mate, sex mate, you never know mate the Greeks and all that I bet the Greeks would I mean I bet Napoleon or something would have pulled you with a big steak pie breath bro he'd have loved that 
You think so? Aye, ah, they've been getting you whispering in his ear and that. Jink, uh, Jink, if you were a mad, now you get like, now they're leaders back in the day. Oh see, like, see, um, Nero, for example. Mm-hmm. Nero would, uh, the guy that runs all the cafes. Aye, Cafe Nero, <laughs> Mister Cafe Nero, <laughs> to you, sir. <laughs> so Nero, um, when he was top dog, he would sit in a big jacuzzi and get like, uh, see, see, like if, like, see, whenever like a wee guy like delivered something, like um, if he was getting stuff delivered or any wee like messenger boys and that that were kicking about, he would get them in and get them to go under the water and nibble his boss <laughs> and he's and he's Gucci and that. Oh. Get right in about it, mate. Get in there. Would you see if you you're a messenger boy? Right. You're delivering something to Nero. You knock the door. <laughs> this is for Nero. Drop him off a, a curry or something. <laughs> he, you go in. Nero's sitting, mate. He's like that in the hot tub, and he's like, "You, <laughs> you doing it? He's the he's the god. He's the right. top dog, mate. I would." I would put it at, can I brush my teeth first? Can I get in there, I'm just <laughs> at a steak pie, mate. Nero, Nero, I'd love to let your Gucci do, mate, but I'm reeking a fucking steak pie and gravy. <laughs> because he's in the bath, mate, he's in the tub, he was lean, mate. As long as Nero did go down and nibble his nose. As long as he didn't mind. Mate. I don't think you can have a bad breath underwater. Aye, you need to hold your no, breath. Have you ever farted underwater, the bubbles have smell? Have I farted underwater? <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> have I farted? The bubbles some. smell. I know, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about that? The most amazing ever. No, see, fear yeah, How scary would it be shiting? But theoretically, like, you've you've had your fill of fucking shites and pills, bro. Do you know he grabbed a real shite in a pill? Do you not know this? Right, I let me get it. There's so much shit we've spoke about. I know. Because we've got new, mate, do you know we've other got, cunts are listening to this? We've got new listeners. <laughs> no, hey, like guys. The same fucking few hundred cunts. I will. I, we spoke about that. We spoke about it like the third so episode. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'll tell the story. I'm turning this off. Right, this you go story's crazy. So, I'm on holiday, family holiday. Lovely four star somewhere in Spain. The location does not matter. And I'm having a wee swim in the pool. And it's it's that time where, like... What age are you having? I'm going to say between 9 and 11. Right, paint a picture. So I'm swimming about the pool. And it's at the time, like, maybe 4 or 5, where starting to know be as sunny. The, all the adults are kind of out the pool. It's just the wains that don't want to come out the pool that are still in it, right? So I'm swimming about and I'm fucking loving it, mate. Did you have, like, wee pals in that? No, at this time, no, no, you know I don't talk to people I, anywhere, mate. But sure, you have you see holiday pals? Has that never been a thing? It, it, it is a thing for me, but I need to be forced into the situation. Ah, right. So I'd never go and look yet. for them. I don't need them. Right. Okay. Um, so I'm swimming about the pool, loving life. Just can't wait to just get out the pool, go in, eat some lays or something. I don't oh, know. Paprika lays. Aye. And uh, I'm swimming about, and I'm like, ah, no way, man legendary somebody's got a prank shite in this pool I'm like ah, this is a, this is iconic I'm like ah, gonna go and get somebody with this I'm like ah, get my mom down or something with this know what I mean so I swim up to this thing and I'm like ah, yes <laughs> mate horn out into the into the shite horn goes through it bro Horn goes clean through it and I just this realisation like now when you nearly fought your bed in the morning and that I was like, was it flashbang, bro? Was it at the end of usual suspects? You're like, oh, the fuck I got flashbang, bro. <laughs> my reality is shattered. And this, I was like, thinking, why did I think that was fake? So I've done that and I've been like, what? And I just swam away. And now that way, because I had grabbed it, I was like, I'm not telling any cunt. Like, I pure got out the pool. I was pure rattled in that. I was pure. My mum was like, are you coming out the pool? Aye. I'm like, aye, I fucking had enough. Aye. Did you, <laughs> we, we need to get ready in that. <laughs> no, I mean, we've got night, age nine. So um, I've got a towel around me in that. And then, like, t- I'm not mate, going back in that pool. I can't be arsed anymore. I just don't like it anymore. Mate, like five minutes later, like somebody had clocked it like, at the side of the pool and like everybody had to go out the pool and that. My mom and dad were like that. Somebody pulled in that pool. I was like, I, I, I grabbed it. <laughs> Did you tell me? I, 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 I was like, I thought it was fake. You had like, why? Up to it. I, but see to me, right? The the concept of somebody shiting in a swimming pool on holiday was that far away from my brain that actually I was like that iconic. Aye. That's your that's, that's your peak prankster age, nine to eleven. Nine to eleven, you'd have been mate, you'd have been probably dreaming. That full time subconsciously about seeing a pranky thing going on, and yeah, you've just seen a thing that looks like because I, I always try and picture what it looks like the shite 
Because it's it's rare to get a mad log a shite like a mad a juice <laughs> bottle, <laughs> just, a, just a one shite, mate. mate. It was like that guy was healthy, whoever that was, because it's obviously a guy that went. Mate, imagine a bird shot in a pool. It, it, it stone hurt to death. Man. It was definitely a wee kid, but know what I mean. Oh, but was it not a big shite? But no? that, what I'm saying is, he obviously was trying to get some of the bubbles up in there and took it a bit too far. Know what yes, I mean? Yes, mate. Try to get a whiff of the fart bubble. So I, I see theoretically with the fart bubbles, just to go back to the, we'll put a pin in the the. The log and the pool situation. <laughs> go back to the um, go back to the shite bubbles. See if there was a deep enough pool, you could f- go down as far as you can go, fart, and then like swim to the other side, and then go up and then like air the other side of the pool. Can't be people like some kind of farted, mate, and you're like <laughs> fleed the scene of the crime. Devious. You've like wiped your hands with the affair. Aye. You're because f- you're. Are you you're- talking about like getting in one end of the pool? Farting, swimming underwater to the other end, and up. Oh, <laughs> so the bubble like, the time the bubble <laughs> reaches the top, but, it's like a mad <laughs> woman or something. It'd be hilarious, but if like you done that and like people are just like looking about and like just this one guy swimming up there and, and <laughs> like, then put a breath at the end, that be like, <gasps> like you just fart and go on. <laughs> and shit, do you just fart the there? Coming up and <laughs> <laughs> Swimming try through your own farts. Try to flee the scene of the crime. Aye, but they, they bubbles will get you, mate. They wee methane bubbles that come up. They'll get you. Mate, something I heard the most wild thing and I hope that I hope that you can like grasp how I was feeling in this situation. So I was in getting my hair cut, Strangers Barbers. Yes. Kent Street, the bar is. The best about. The very best. Um I was in getting my hair cut there and um Reese has cut my hair and the boy next to us is get, get cutting somebody's hair and there's a guy waiting, right? Mm-hmm. Kind of quirky looking guy. Oh, quirky. Kind of quirky. Yeah. Can I just, I did this a bit different. Yeah. Uh, so he was sitting there and um, he's waiting. And then so, guy finishes his hair cut. I'm sitting in the chair still, obviously, getting my, my mine cut. And he shouts at the other guy up and he says, doing right? So now that way, like, you sort of listen into the other person's conversations in, in a barber's. So I'm like kind of just, what's this guy all about now? I don't know, what, what's, what's this guy got? What's he got in his locker, right? Barbara goes at him. All right, man. Um, so he just starts cutting his hair. He's like, uh, tells him what he wants, starts cutting it. He's like, so uh, what are you up to today? Uh, like, what, what is it he said? So what are you up to today, man? Right? Can't just silence, bro. Oh. Like that. Silence, didn't answer him. And I was like, did he just patch him? And he's like... You up, you up to anything today, man? And I seen him like pure, like doing that, like k- looking confused and that. And I was like, this guy's either deaf this guy. or foreign. Polish. You know what I mean? Aye. And he was like, he waited a minute. He's like, sorry, what did you say? <laughs> and he done, like, wh- are you doing anything after this, after the haircut? And he said, he was like, ah. what, do you, what do you mean? Oh. <laughs> Like what, mate? Uh, How do you, mate? It fucked my brain up. Like, there's no simpler question. How can you get confused at that question? That's an infuriating cunt. Was he? Been, was he trying to be like? Was he being like? What do you mean? Like, why was he being like that? Spiritually or physically, or mentally? Oh my god! I don't like that. No, but mate, I have no idea. Like, because he, he explained it to him, and then he was like, "Oh yeah, nothing." Like, he answered that. That's mad. Bro. I was like, "How is that a question that you can't understand?" Maybe he's an alien, bro. Maybe he's an alien that just doesn't understand like common parlance yet, and he's just mm. learned like he's just landed it, and been like. <laughs> but he looks what so. What do we do? Strangers, <laughs> fuck it, bounced in, sat down. He's learned all the formal language. He's read Shakespeare and that, but then he's like, "Wait up to man." He's been like, <laughs> "You're having to process it and that." What's he really mean by yeah, that? That's a fucking. That's a mad thing to like hear an earshot to just be like, because you're looking at him in the mirror and all like. <laughs> like, I know. The mad Mate, the barber that. chair's like a, a crazy place to have a conversation, but like, I feel like, do you know, I always end up saying fuck, like, whoever's cutting my hair, it's been Reese for like years now. Oh, sorry, bro. <laughs> What's this guy doing? Foots, eh? Can you have a warning, mate? Eh, so, eh, see, I always pure spill my guts, I feel like, in a barber's chair. Right. I don't know if it's like for being like, I'm just sat here sort of for the next period of time. I asked her, mate, I remember getting in pure. Aye, mate, fuck knows what's happening with a gaff and that. You know what I mean? Like, Aye. pure shit that you... Like, in front of a full show, I cunts that, like, Aye, I wouldn't... Mad. And I was like, I, why? I don't know, maybe so, I... Do you know what I feel what I have when I go into Strangers Creative? What? Right? Just for another little plug for you. Strangers Creative, right, at the bar is. I feel like I'm going home. I feel like I'm at home when I'm there, mate. Feel comfortable enough to open your heart up. And do you know what it's kind of like? Do you know how, like, um, in, like, mad uh, American films, like... 
I'm now like a black barber shop and it's like that's where you go like that's like mm-hmm. That's kind of like, I think the Scottish, space. the Scottish have adopted that. Scottish males aye. go to their barbers to just... Heart to heart. Aye. But they all, I mean, I really, I really enjoy, I really enjoy going to that new shop um, because there's less foot traffic. Because yes. nothing makes me more uncomfortable than when a barber forces you to look at a woman that's walking by. Oh, <laughs> mate, that's constantly. The, that's the worst thing ever, bro. Just like, look at her by the way. Would you know, shag her? Just like... Aye. Ah, but we, we did have this theory about barbers mm. where we think like barbers, especially in a barber shop of multiple guys, yep. because what they're doing is like cutting hair is seen as quite a feminine thing. Mm. They all try and be pure, insanely horny all day. So I'm like, fucking, how could I tits me? You're like, tits, aye. You're just a fade you're wanting, bro. And you're like, aye. Uh. It's mad that it's just the de facto response to any like male only business, but like, if it's a male only barber shop or. 90% of the construction sites in Scotland <laughs> like it's just automatically just like do you like shagging birds and that aye, aye. P- prove prove you like shagging birds to me right now show me a bird you've shagged show me one bird you've shagged and get phone on get proof <laughs> you can FaceTime her and it's it's real her mate I always say that about the naked woman calendar what is that all about the naked w- woman why are you trying to get me a fucking uh, an erection and work <laughs> mate what are you trying to date to me mate you're sitting in a steel cabin in Falkirk why me you get hard bro I know I think I honestly think it was like a gay test mate yeah. like yep. you like that wee man yeah. what do you like about it <laughs> uh, the colour of the bra? Get out. <laughs> get out. <laughs> just the way the bra fits? Nah, mate, get out. Uh, or even in just like, she looks like a lovely woman. What? How? <laughs> what? That's the gayest thing I've <laughs> ever heard. There's a lot of shit said about that woman. <laughs> Wait, you respect that woman. <laughs> you, that woman's not just a fucking thing for you to fucking stare at. <laughs> not an object. <laughs> nah, but... The naked woman candles, they should be swapped out pretty soon for maybe like the... Fastest car calendars. I bet they become popular. Oh mate, they're in my work. Aye, they'll be. A that's a thing. that's a classy establishment. That, that's bro. always like um, RS Engineering. Like I'm at uh-huh. uh, like I'm at like Ford ST Auto Tune place. Aye. They always make mad like they have these mad calendars. <laughs> that might be gay of it. Aye, that probably is getting the fastest car calendar. <laughs> <laughs> Look how fast that car is, <laughs> mate. That make Pagani Ronda, mate. Mate, say when you <laughs> rev that, it go like this. See what else we get. I, I used to think like I used to have mad I me mean, I like it used to pure no like motors used to pure run parts of my brain in that bro like I'd pure no like he's he's a bash top gear and all that and I just thought having like a fast cars the pure coolest thing ever like see like if I seen like a Pagani Zonda driving about the tune or something it sounds like something backwards or something you know see I me mean, look at get a big Pagani Pagani Zonda Zonda Pagani what. Pagani, mate, he's called a ratio Pagani, Pagani or something. Oof. Italian guy made a sports car. It's beautiful. But when I was a wee guy, because I was into motors, I was like, "All right, all mate, right, I have seen this. I'd have to stop my tracks if I see." I would think that was motor. a Ferrari or something. Oh my lad, that's a beautiful motor vehicle, is mate, it not? My old boss used to make kit cars in it. Did he? That's eh? hardcore, isn't it? Mate, there was a mad fucking Chinese guy that used to stay like three doors down for me for where I grew up. <laughs> Like all my years I grew up there, mate, and he used to just have motors and he's mad and he's a uh, like Gerdin. Just drove into the Gerdin, mate, like just like three mad Hondas. <laughs> I love and that, he used bro. To feel them, mate, and, but then see when he got them out, no, but it was a mad old Asian guy. He was like forty eight, so he was just a mad mechanic who was heavy. And yeah, obviously, mm. mate, but he just had them all at his garden, mate, and he used to fucking r- r- rev up the Honda, <laughs> way. rev up the Bugatti, way. <laughs> uh, how long have we done, Jambo? That is an on time. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Vroom. Time, yeah. time to go on Patreon. YouTube, we love you. Mm-hmm. Spotify, we love you. Can you maybe write something about us and how good we are at... Uh, talking or something Comment down below Some talking boys Comment below Fuck two ADHD riddle cunts Shouting at the top Each other for a door Love it Five <laughs> stars Rev up the beat anyway <laughs> Yo Me up the podcast Yeah <laughs> Me up the podcast fam. I want somebody To come in and do that mate Aye They might do it They mate. might do it on Patreon So we need to switch over If you don't know We're continuing this This fucking this Zonda has not stalled at the fucking on the Indian roads quite yet. This is very much picking up steam. So come and join us. Patreon.com forward slash Riley's Gaff. 